Have you ever walked into a liquor store and seen bootleg CDs and tapes, fake purses, fake hats? You know, your typical liquor store that is kind of shady and seedy. Well, guess what? The same thing happens at gourmet popcorn shops. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it happens. All right, let's go. Glaze. Kit. Scratch. Sometimes you go to a gourmet popcorn shop and you're going to get some caramel corn and guess what? It's not really caramel corn. I'm gonna show you how and why that happens so you never fall for that cheap trick from that useless gourmet popcorn shop on your corner. Okay, let's talk about the differences and why one way is better than the other ways. This isn't very hard, guys. This is actually a very simple thing to think about because you love the finer things. You love good things. It's just like you love craft beer versus your traditional beer, like your father's beer, right? You love things that are handcrafted. You would rather get something that was handmade than something that was made in a factory, right? So that's what this is really all about. Okay, so number one, what in the heck is glaze? Okay, so glaze is generally used by someone who wants to make caramel corn that doesn't have all the equipment to make caramel corn. Basically what it is, it comes in a milk carton and you pour it into the popcorn kettle while it is popping. Basically it's sugar, it's corn syrup, it's artificial flavoring, and it's artificial coloring. That's what glaze is all about. It's just a way for you to make caramel corn while your popcorn is popping right out of the machine. That's what glaze is. It's just a cheap imitation of real caramel corn. Okay, it does not have all of the other ingredients that gives you that richness of caramel corn. That's what it's all about. So glaze is, soup, is a super cheap imitation of caramel corn. Glaze is bottom of the barrel. That's the worst that you can get. If you go to a concession stand and they say, hey, we have fresh caramel corn, you better believe that that caramel corn is probably glaze and if they're taking it directly out of a popcorn kettle or a popcorn machine then it's a hundred percent glaze you don't want that that's not tasty all right number two the kit all right the kit is for the gourmet popcorn person that doesn't have a caramel corn recipe so basically what it is is that it comes in a box and it's this sugar combination of you got sugar and you have artificial coloring and you'll have uh, corn syrup in there and some other ingredients that are necessary for it to caramelize and stick to the popcorn. The problem is, is that this is a kit that is the baseline for your caramel corn recipe. You don't have a caramel corn recipe, so you use this as the base. And you're going to add, someone might add a little bit more sugar to it, or they may add vanilla, or they may add some other ingredients to it to give it the flavor that they want it to have. So this would be the equivalent of buying a frozen pizza, 
and then adding your own toppings to it and then putting it into the oven. That's what the kit is. That's what the kit is. So number three is making it from scratch. Making your caramel corn from scratch is going to be the best option. Even if your recipe is not that great, it's still better than buying glaze or, or making it from a kit. Because at least you have the foundation for something that could be decent or better in the future. But if you're using glaze or a kit, you have really no chance of making superior caramel corn. So that's the difference between the glaze, the kit, and from scratch. Now, what do we do? Of course, everything is from scratch. And what we do is that we will take sugar and real butter and some corn syrup and brown sugar and molasses and some other ingredients like salt sea salt and we will cook them in our machines and we only make them in small batches but man you can modify the recipe many different ways to turn it into other delicious caramel corn variations so that's why that we always make everything right from scratch so i hope that you learned something today about the popcorn industry it's an insider secret and i would say that probably when you go to a popcorn shop I would say that probably two thirds of popcorn shops, in my opinion, are using glaze or a kit. And it's just because they don't have a recipe that is reliable or dependable or tasty. And that's the difference between gourmet popcorn shops that are, you know, at a high level or at a lower level. So be choosy about your gourmet popcorn. Don't settle for bootleg or imitation gourmet popcorn. Because if you love popcorn, you know that you want to have something that's super high quality.